All right, so welcome back to the studio. This is Lagos Talks 91.3 FM. My name is Ulu Akaide, and I have a guest in the studio who's the uh, House of Assembly uh, candidate of the NNPP, and uh, his name is uh, Engineer Lukman and uh, Olabode Akereli. So before we go into what you want to do in the house and everything, how easy was it for you to leave the APC and join the NNPP? Why not Labour? Why not YPP? Why not any of the other parties? What attracted you to NNPP? Uh, you know, when, when we were leaving APC, uh, we had a discussion. Then we looked at uh, so many options. But at the end of the day, we settled for NNPP. You know, when we are grassroots politicians and we don't... Um, our decisions are not swayed by uh, what you hear on the social media or what you hear. So we are concerned about what is on ground. Mm. So, so which and which platform will give us what we what we want. Okay. So that's why we settled for NMPP after considering um, many options. Mm, I so, see. And then we've never regretted our action ever since then. Interesting. And uh, so and you, another thing is that we yeah. believe that we have the structure. So whatever platform you are using, we believe that by God's grace, we can defeat the the ruling party mm. in our consistency. Okay, okay. So um, with what you've said now, what does the House of Assembly mean to you? How important is it? The House of Assembly is important to us. It's important to me as a person because I see it as an avenue where I can contribute my own quota to the development of my state, which is legal state. In terms of lawmaking, you not seen much. Not in, not um, not much has been achieved mm. so far by members of that, uh, that assembly. So we want to bring a change to that. We want to see uh, how well uh, we can carry out oversight functions on the MDAs. How well we can ensure that whatever money is budgeted is. Just utilize for what is what has, what it has been budgeted for. Okay. We want to see development in our states. Mm. Yeah, figures. This year the budget is one point six trillion. Yeah. You know, and that's the budget for next year. But this year is over a trillion with little to show for it. Mm. We believe as members of the House of Assembly, you have a duty, a responsibility yeah. to oversee the activities of the MDAs. How well are they utilize, utilizing these funds? These funds, okay. You know, budget mm. implementation has been poor. We go around, I'm not happy with what we see. So you, we, don't, you do not believe that the House of Assembly is holding the state government to account enough? Yes. They are not. They are not. And do you think one man can be, make that change? No, 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 no. One man cannot. But when you are there now, you are, poli- you are a politician. You should know how to talk to people how to talk to your colleagues. You have like minds. And you know, in the in, in democracy, the majority have their, we we'll always have that way. Mm-hmm. The minority, minority will have their say, but the majority will have their, their way. way. Yeah. So you should have a way of talking to others, your colleagues, so that you can push whatever agenda you are pushing forward. You can see it. You can, see, you can make sure that, um, you can, so that you can ensure that uh, it sees the light of the day. Mm. Mm. So that's what we are going to do. I'm going to talk to other people, our colleagues. I'm going to do that. I'll be doing that to talk to my colleagues to make them see reason why we have to do this, why we have to do that. Why we need to do this to move our state forward. Okay. How do we ensure that Lagos moves from being one of the worst cities to live in, in the world to being one of the best cities to live in? I was just going to ask you how you see Lagos, but already you've told us that you see it as one of the worst cities it's, where it's, one can no, live no, no, in. It's, it's one of the worst cities, but in, in Nigeria... You may see Lagos as a as a best city, but we know that Lagos can be better, a lot better. Mm. So it's like a one-eyed man in the midst of blind men. That's what you're saying. That is just it. All right. So what we'll do is that well, election is still next year. We'll see yes. if uh, how we can engage you more and uh, no say have some more talk with you. But before I let you go, in thirty seconds, if you if you were to win this, and uh, what would be that one singular law that you feel? Can transform Lagos, which we lack, and you like us to you like to pass, or you like to fully support in implementing if it's already passed. There are so many laws that we are going to uh, propose. There are so many bills that we are going to propose mm. to make sure that um, uh, the people of Lagos 
uh, that we improve, that we ensure uh, there's improvement in the lives of the people of Lagos, the lives of Lagosians. There are so many bills that are going to propose that will ensure that uh, the ease of doing business in Lagos is at the highest level. Mm. There are so many laws we are going to propose that will ensure that lives are, are easy for people, for Lagosians. Okay. You no. Know, there are many laws that in place but are not being implemented. It's one thing to pass a law. The other thing to implement, to implement it. it. Do you have any idea? Can you tell us any of those laws that Oh well the uh the when you talk about traffic, let me take traffic for instance. Yeah. You know when you go when you go around Lagos, when you travel around Lagos, you discover that uh the traffic the traffic big lock. Yeah. On Lagos, with the traffic jam we experience mm-hmm. is is avoidable mm-hmm. when our laws okay. are well implemented. When people who are in charge do the right thing, when yeah, people who have been given the responsibility to manage traffic in Lagos mm. are monitored to ensure that they do their job. They are not doing it. No. All right, so we look forward to you. Uh, if you get into the house, how can we follow you on social media? Let uh, people hold you to account from there, starting from now. What's your social media handle? I uh, Facebook is Lukman uh, Labadi. Uh, All right, Lukman Kenda Kirili on Facebook, and the L O K on the Twitter, mm. and the Instagram too is Lukman uh, Lukman Kenda Kirili. All right, great, and uh, right. that's how you follow him. He's the NNPP candidate uh, vying for the post of uh, the the office of the uh, House of Assembly member for Ikeja Constituency 1. Uh, we'll bring them to you occasionally from time to time so that you can be fully informed. Don't just focus on one party. Focus on candidates. Be selfish as a Nigerian. Be selfish to the extent that you're looking for that candidate that will do your bidding, which is the good bidding for this nation. Mm-hmm.